The other day when I was doing a live stream, I was going over my web page and one of the viewers asked me which one of the kits that I did a review on was better. Was it the Grove Beginner Kit or the Elego Super Starter Kit? So we're going to talk about that a little bit here today. So let's get to this one right here. Here's the Grove Beginner Kit. As you can see right here, everything is self-contained. It's all on this one board. This is the Seduino Lotus. It's compatible with the Arduino Uno R3. You get uh, the Grove jumper cables there. These have the Grove connectors on here, but you have the headers right here like you have on your regular Uno. You have a lot of different options in here and it's all self-contained. All you have to do is plug it in to a either a power supply or your computer and start it up with the with the potentiometer and the push button and it, it goes through all the demonstrations for you. It has a very useful user manual. A really really good user manual so let's get back with that a little bit later the Elegoo super starter kit now I have two of these and I gave away two of these to my viewers in a contest I think this is a pretty good starter kit it has everything that you will ever want to need almost and when i say almost and i do not know why but in every starter kit that i've ever seen they do not have an ir sensor but uh you can see up here this is all the things that you get you get a breadboard you get a uh elegu uno you get a mini breadboard uh you also get a prototyping expansion board you get a relay and uh, ultrasonic sensor, potentiometer, button, LCD displays, a few other things, battery, a little uh, deal to plug in uh, a small power supply. But uh, here's what I got left of <laughs> what was in there. Okay, now this is one. Now, like I said before, I have two of these. Here's the other one. Now, this one is more complete, and I think this one's the older one. And you can see you get resistors in there and, you know, a bunch of resistors and uh, the small uh, components there. But uh, out of the two, I used quite a few of what they offer in there. Now, let me go over to their web pages and show you what is on there. Okay, here's the Elegu Super Starter Kit. It's $44.99, and I could uh, make this a lot bigger. And you can see the components on there. There's the breadboard, remote control resistors, jumper cables, and uh, DuPont cables, servos, uh, stepper motor, LCD screen. Uh, potentiometer, there's your USB cable, battery, a couple of chips. Uh, I think one of them's a uh, uh, shift register, and I'm not quite sure what the other one is. The, the uh, numbers, push buttons, uh, a couple of uh, noise makers, uh, some LEDs, the, uh, the uh, CD or DVD. Uh, the prototyping board and the uh, mini breadboard and uh, DC motor with a fan and a uh, humidity sensor. Okay. Their uh, user manual, the first one I did was about f f four or five years ago. The user manual was really crappy. They updated the user manual. It looks a lot better. Uh, I'm not going to show you the user manual here right now. I might show it to you a little bit later. 
but we'll go over to the Grove. Okay, and you can see it's all self-contained right there. Here are the items in there. All right, temperature and humidity sensor, three axis accelerometer, air pressure sensor, a light sensor, and a sound sensor. Uh, input module is a rotary repotentiometer button. And output module is LED buzzer, display module, OLED display, Grove cables, micro USB cable. You can see that uh, the description here is a little bit better than what uh, the uh, Elegoo Super Starter Kit is. And look at the price right there, $22.99. Okay, now they do offer an another one. You can see this one says it is a beginner kit. So this one just shows you the basics to get you started. They also have a starter kit, which is $54.90, which has basically the same thing. It has a few more items in there. I see they have a servo in there and a relay that they didn't have any other one. They have an LCD screen instead of an OLED screen, but uh, it looks like Maybe everything else is the same in there. Basic Shield Grove LCD RGB backlight. A relay buzzer, sound sensor, touch sensor. Okay, it's got a touch sensor, rotary angle sensor, temperature sensor, LED light sensor button, uh, blue, green, and red uh, dip LEDs, uh, mini servo, Grove cables, Barrel jack adapter, starter kit manual, and green plastic box. Okay, so I I don't I never had that one, so I'm not going to go into a great detail in that one. But this one here, this this one's a great one for beginners. This one right here, the Elegoo Super Starter Kit, that has a lot of things that you could use over and over again. And like I said, unfortunately, they do not have the um, IR sensor like we use uh, to trip everything. But here's the component list on the Elegoo, and you can see it's a little bit harder to uh, see right here. It's a one, one, it's a one pieces on all of them instead of putting it over onto the side and you know putting a number on there. Uh, Uno LCD 1602 module, breadboard expansion, power supply module, joist, joystick module. It has a lot more in there. So the big question here is, which one is the best? Is it the Grove Beginner Kit? This one here. Or the Elegoo Super Starter Kit? This one right here. They are both very good kits. And it all depends on you, the user, what you want to learn. The Grove Beginner Kit is actually for beginners. If you have never used Arduino before and want to see what the capabilities are, but you do not want to play around experimenting, moving things around on a breadboard, this one is for you. If you're a little bit further than that and you know exactly what you want to do, this is the better one. This will give you most of the components that you need. Like I said before, I don't know why, but they don't give you an IR sensor in here. But this gives you the breadboard. This gives you the Uno. This gives you a shield to put on top of the Uno. It gives you all the jumpers. Everything that you need to get started on there. The manual is better than it was some years ago it it's still not as good as the manual in the grow beginner kit but for what you're going to do here you're more advanced you know you want to start experimenting so you're going to be using this one here this one is for the one who wants to experiment this one is the one for if you're not sure you want to experiment but you just want to try out to see what Arduino does. If you do that, if you want to see that, if if you just want to see what Arduino is up to, this is it. You, you won't break the bank. It's 
This one right here, it's twice as much. You get a lot more, but you can experiment with it. So that's my assessment of these two kits right here. And I can't show you, <laughs> unfortunately, my overhead camera just crapped out while I was recording here. It was the HDV, Canon HDV30. It was uh, one of the very first ones that came out with uh, 1080p. And so it's, it's biting the dust. I have to keep on hitting the reset. That's my story and I'm stuck with it. I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, it's up to you, the user of, you know, if you want to experiment, use this one. If you're just looking around and you don't want to get your hands involved in doing experimentation, this is the one right here. If you want to start experimenting and moving wires around and components around, this is the one for you right here. So, until the next time, we'll see ya and have fun. Bye.